All right, I definitely feel like the microphone is way too close to my face because my lips are touching it. So I also don't have the other foam sock on here or fuzzy sock thing, the dead cat. I don't have that on here, but I just wanted to see how this setup was going to work on the hog. We're going to... Oh! Take her for a little jaunt. Oh, I'm not going to be able to see soon. I got a tin of visor. All right, damn, that's dark as shit. Okay, so this is a test of the Dango Designs uh, GoPro mount. It seems really stout honestly it seems super sturdy um it's a cool angle only thing i don't like is it kind of is hitting my chest but uh it makes a pretty good setup i think because i do use my gopro for a lot that's my mom um yeah i can't see so this is just a test to see if the bike's too rich. I don't think it is rich. I think it's pretty good right now, actually. Oh yeah, it was hella lean before. Now my neighbors hate me. But uh, yeah. I can't, I can't see it all with this tinted visor. I got a, a mirrored visor. I don't know if you can tell or you see it, but uh, I mean, I really like this setup. It's like super simple. Uh, I hope it works. It looks sick. Um, it makes it so I don't have to like tuck any wires behind the, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to move the, uh... no, my idol is way high. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to move the uh, mic, I think. Maybe to a more, uh, it is a little lean still, not lean, I, I am maybe, I don't know man, I'm not, I want to be good with carburetors, I just don't think I can, god that's too dark, I gotta keep it open, alright, so right now, the mic definitely is way too close, um, to my face, to my mouth. Um, way too close. And it's probably got a little bit of wind noise right now with the uh, uh, mouthpiece open like this. I think we're gonna go this way. But I like this Dango Designs mount because it's like, I have the cord for the mic wrapped around it, or tucked underneath it, and it works pretty good. And uh, the mic is actually attached to the mount right now, which I think is the reason why it's so too close. I might have to crank this fuel screw out a little bit more. Oh, these fuel are gonna hate me. Yeah, so I've always wanted to do a moto vlog setup, and I had some Amazon gift cards, and this, you know, Dango mount and the blue uh, snowball or blue ice cream truck. We are uh, terrorizing neighbors, neighborhoods, one Harley at a time. Alright, so let's see. Also, alright, so we're still recording. This has got to come down a little bit now. Oh shit, my pipes are red hot.
Yo, I gotta get home. Things are red hot. Like red hot, red hot. Fucking damn! I don't know what's up with that. Dude, these fucking exhaust pipes are glowing. That's not good, man. I'm not even riding hard. Yo, that's fucking gnarly. Dude, I don't know what it is. Alright, so backstory on why this thing isn't it's not running perfect because so I rode it to work one day damn yeah I rode it to work one day and my fuel filter got clogged on the way home so I kept messing with the the air idle screw air idle screw kept turning it out turning it out mess my tune all up just to get home because I knew it was messed up I, I knew I was not getting fuel so it's like well if you're not getting fuel then you kind of got a problem you know well you're not gonna get very far dude this thing is so lean can I even get to the screw right here without burning the shit out of myself nah I can't damn yeah all right Let's just get this bitch home. Oh. Huh. Life of Harleys, man. I get my motor vlog set up. Start melting exhausts. Dude, I really hope this thing cools down a little bit. God almighty. in my neighborhood oh man Yo, what the fuck is that Audi oh god my neighbors are gonna hate me dude I'm ripping through here Okay, 